Hello, this is Palico Badge, and welcome back to more of the Sunless Sea Zubariva chilled out playthrough. When we're not running away from moths, that is. Um, they, they can see you through mist. You would have thought so. Ships can't see you through the mist, but moths apparently have some sort of radar function. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. But we survived, and we are on to our next episode, which is this one. So, convenient, really. Convenient. <laughs> this episode, we are heading up to... Oh, hang on a sec. There we go. The Avid Horizon, which is what the Admiralty wants us to do. We're going to loop past Mount Palmerston, pop down to Sea of Lilies, uh, and then crack into Demo Island, Pigmoat, Salt Line, back into London, and that's probably where we'll end this episode. And then hopefully next time around, we will have reason to come a little bit further out southwards, because there's a hell of a lot more down here going on. Uh, a hell of a lot more to check out as well. I am looking to open up the map as much as possible, so uh, we'll probably clear a little bit of this black stuff around here, make it a nice square... I am one for uh, evens. And maybe skip uh, all this black stuff out here before heading back. It depends on how our fuel's going, how our terror's going, how our supply's going. But th that's the plan. That's the plan. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's crack on, shall we? How's our terror doing at the moment? Uh, 53. So we're doing okay, considering we're about halfway into the journey about now. It's this damp snow which is causing all the problems. Bloody snow. As I said in the last episode, it's a case of... Uh, I don't understand how the snow affects the engines, but I'm not one to question it. Just need to get on through it. We're on the outskirts now. There we go. Up to full pace. Wow, that's 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 Mount Nomad. We need to we need to get into here as quickly as possible without getting any sort of please don't look at me. Please please don't look at me. We're good, we're good. He can't see me. Very focused on his mission is Mount Nomad, which is straight ahead of him. No no looking around, no no restfulness with him. Alright, so Avid Horizon. Uh, two fast wing shapes, yes, we've done all this. Retrieve strategic information, that's what we need to do from here. But you were given a sign to look for. There, there it is, carved on one of the pillars of the dock. Below the sign, an authoritative hand has carved this message. If you wish to return to London, if you seek the forgiveness of the Empress, if you will sacrifice all to make amends, record your name and crime. Below are the names of murderers, traitors, hopeless villains who've fled into exile. They've made the icy pilgrimage here to the end of the world to prove their desperation to return home. You record them all, the old and the freshly carved. The Amorti will pick through the names and make their choice. Leave now, quickly. More strategic information. Cool. Anything else? Anything for anything? Uh, right, well, we can get our port report. Uh, your journey here may attract the attention of a certain crimson patron. Oh, in Christmas week too. Hmm. Return your port report to the Admiralty in London to unlock a new story. And uh, we could take the hit on Terra. Don't know if we should. Ah, screw it. Stars float in the mirrored night of the waves. Watch them a while. It's not that high. Uh, these are real stars. They burn above the roof of the Neath beyond the earth in the spaces of heaven. Even so far away, even now, their eyes are on you. But here in the night under the world, you are safe. Safe. You return to the, your senses, gasping. <gasps> your hands are cold. Numb. How long were you watching the stars? Well, enough to gain ten terror, one would perceive. Uh, we're doing that again for a while, although we can open the high gate now if we have bought materials for the passage, whatever that may be. I'm guessing there's no shops here. No, no shipyard net. Or net, should I say, not net. Right, okay, well, oh, uh, we are off to Mount Palmerston now and hopefully going to clear a little bit of this black stuff as well. I do like uncovering the... Uh, the map. My problem is, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm sure I've said this before, I'm a bit anal when it comes to games like this. I like to have everything open up in front of me. Uh, that means sometimes taking unnecessary risks for pretty much little to no advantage of me in the game whatsoever. But hey, hey, it makes the map look neat. And that's why, little, you know, I'll go on to this, bits like this really annoy me because there's no way I'm ever going to open these up. Yeah, what, what can you do? What can you do? Maybe they'll introduce a, uh, a a plane of some sort at some point, or a helicopter. It is sort of steampunky after all. And uh, with that, I'll be able to uncover the entire map and go to go to sleep. A, a happy, I'm a happy man. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, 
we'll put the lights on for a bit. There's very nasty music at the moment. This doesn't make me feel good at all. I think it's because we're close to Mount Palmerston. With the devils and all that. The devils who don't like devils. Never quite understood that. Why would you... Because I presume, you know, if, if, if we're looking at the whole um, reason behind the, the devils falling from... Well, the fallen angels from, from heaven. Uh, they're all in the same boat, really. So why would you want to fraction off away from that no idea doesn't make any sense to me but as it stands these people at mount palmerston or things at mount palmerston aren't happy with uh, what's going on down in hell so uh, they're creating uh, their own sort of hell i guess we look up there what whoa, whoa 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 what the hell is that a four stick corsair i've never seen one of those before uh well we're in the clear I'm going to... No, he's just looping around. I'm not going to go near him. I'm not going to go near him. As long as he keeps looping around, we'll stand the outskirts. Everyone's a winner. That's it. That's a good... Oh, Ambrose Point. That's a good... Force of course, there. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Some sort of beetle has invaded your morsel of ship's biscuit. It waggles its antennae impertinently. Bastard! Alright, so, uh, we can go to Mount Palmerston, we can go to the crater. They say the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Hmm. Should we, should we go and have a look? It's like the second time around. Should we go and have a look? Let's go and have a look. Well, yeah. Uh, they say the road to hell is paved with good intentions, but the road to the Primstone Convention is paved with cinders. Oh, that's that's not a good sign. You know, the, the cinders are bad. Uh, do they admit visitors to the Brimstone Convention? Probably not, but you never know. They might sell tickets. <laughs> Let's have a look. Look down and see Paul Palmerston like a toy and the ruins like gravel. You've come far, but the volcano's cone still rears above you. Rest a little before you go the last half mile. An occurrence, your objective encounters with the wistful devilness, the quality is now one. You found a little cottage by the gate to the Primstone Convention. Ah, oh, lovely. She has red eyes. Uh, the road to the crater ends at the brass gate in the crater wall. Besides, it stands an oddly charming little cottage. It's thrown together with pumice and basalt, but it features, it features honeysuckle. Nice. An equally charming devil-less... An equally charming devil-less in a tea gown leaned against the cottage wall, twirling a parasol and fanning herself. I am the guardian of this place, she remarks languidly. You may not pass, but can I offer you a cup of Amarilla tea? Well, it's, mm, tea with a devil-less. Devil-less. That's why, isn't it? Devil-less. It doesn't, it doesn't roll off the tongue very well. Uh, you're not one of the poisonous ones, is it? You're pretty sure it's not. Uh, you haven't bought a sufficiently long spoon, perhaps. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Let's do it. I'm a really Ria. I'm a real Aria. That's right. That's not one of the poisonous ones, is it? You're pretty sure it's not. No doubt she'd be much less pleasant if you tried to break down the gate. But just now, she's a courteous, soft-voiced woman in a tea gown. The tea is hot and nutty and rather pleasant. She asks about your voyages. She is desperate for news of London. Of its mists, its nights, its sick, its poor, its fires. She tactfully turns aside questions about the convention, but she shares some of the secrets of the neat. Come and see me again, she says. Next time you're here, she shugs gracefully. Bring me a present, if you like. Ah, encounter with the wistful devilness quality is now 20. You've taken tea with her. Okay, well, that went all right. That went all right. Uh, we need our port report, so we'll do that as well. And that's that's about all we can do here. We can dig among the ruins to try and get supplies. How's our supplies looking? Ten. We're doing all right at the moment. I don't think there's any need to do that and to upset anyone here. As it stands, we can't really do much else, so... Uh, we need to crack on. More of this map to uncover. So we shall come this way. Let's just have a quick look. Is he still up there? Or is he gone? I think he's gone. He's gone. Right, okay. So. Is he really gone? Oh, I'm there. No, he stopped. 
he's oh he's stuck we'll just stop a second how high is he 300 no no no, no. i'm not making that mistake again <laughs> even so it's it's good to see that um that one can get stuck i'm guessing it was the shape of the uh, the ship that did that it uh, wasn't the best of uh, of shapes it wasn't very um dynamic for the sea with that little in cut and uh i guess it means it gets stuck on boys which is is good for us it's good for us so we've done what we needed to do uh we are making the the loop home i am very aware that our terror is starting to get quite high so uh, that's something we might have to just pay a little bit of attention to let's just get this here dathul is rage Rah! a few more fragments for us but the uh, the whole uh, getting of fragments uh, it does tend to slow down when I keep the map open. I'm sure I mentioned this a few episodes ago, which does mean getting gaining secrets, should I say, uh, does take a little bit more. What's that square thing? I haven't been using my bat. I should probably be using my bat. Leopard. Oh. That's lots of ships. Oh, lordy. No, no one's attacking me. Khan's glory. Oh, lordy. Please don't fire at me. You just watch me come in. That's fine. I'm quite happy if you just watch me come on in. I'm not... Oh, I'm fine. I'm... No, please miss. No, he hits. And he hits hard. Can I get in here any quicker? No, no, no. Just we'll go around the corner. He won't see. Wow, what a bitch. Little bitch. Right, it's like Khan's glory. Here are the palaces of the Khan and his course. Each a fortress to itself. Sleek lords and ladies in belted robes breakfast on the balconies. An unlikely antelope peeks at you from a park. Guns rotate easily on motorised gimbals. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? When they, they're... Uh, they're all aiming at you and you, you know nothing, you know nothing. Take a meeting concerning a matter of no importance. A servant of the Tyman is missing. His loss is a danger. Uh, okay, or oh, cruise past the clan palaces. Oh, we've got a decent here. Let's do that first. Right, so. Khan's glory has a steely beauty, but the clan lords are ever suspicious of spies. And those good emplacements are vigilant. Yes, they're, they're on gimbals, you know. Sculptured curves of stone and silver. Coral statue. A triple salvo from a gun emplacement scars your bow. Bastard. Just had that polished out. Turn back to the sanctioned harbour quickly. Uh, we failed. Okay. Uh, we've lost one hull. That's fine. We've... Uh, oh, we you have two white... You have two. The white and golds are watching you. X menaces. I guess they don't like us. I guess they don't like us. What else can we do here? Oh, we've opened up a few more things, but nothing of any sort of help i don't think take a meeting of, of a meeting considering a matter of no importance right so there is a place one doesn't speak of officially a former servant of the Tyman, who did not engage in the gathering of strategic information did not disappear to the undersea port of anth which officially does not exist it's a lot of double negatives there or even triple negatives. At length you hear what this servant did not look like and strict prohibitions against pursuing him Officially, no one in Khan's glory would have any interest, albeit all inclined to reward you with money and connections if you were to go to Anth. They would not care for a port of this situation or any information he may be unable to bring home. Okay, I guess that's a, like a, a wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more sort of place. Uh, okay. What have we done here? That, that was... Interesting, but completely pointless. Completely pointless. Why are you still there? We go. We got you lit up now. We just want to. We want to have a peeky. What, what's all this place? Wolf, Timon. Ah, that's where the servant came from. Oh, there's more down here. Khan's Gate makes sense. What be you? The Neferite Quarter. Khan's Heart. Whoa, whoa. Oh, jeez, just missed. Just missed. Nef Nephrite quarter. Wow. Uh, we've got. What is it now? What's aiming at me? Oh. C 
coop, copper quarter even. Oh, there's a, another little one here. What be you? Khan's heart, London's rival. Ah, that's why they hate me. Okay, okay. Khan's heart, London's rival. An oasis of light in the salt black waste can now thread the painted city. S canals even. Street lamps glow and water taxes putter. Butter, butter, butter. A secret commercial license. Mm. The Carganians dislike merchants and they dislike foreigners. Well, it's a two for two for us. Foreign merchants induce paroxysms of paroxysms, yeah, of antipathy. Perhaps sufficient bribes will buy your way into the nephrite quarter. Well, we don't have any money, so we won't worry about that. And uh, everything else is locked off, bar from gather a porter port. Thirty-six percent challenge. And the carnet generally assumes that all foreigners are spies or worse. It would be a shame to disappoint them but it might be dangerous to prove them right. As Carganian suspicious increases, this action becomes more difficult. If you are, if you have an intelligence network here, it's easier. Ah, right, so I guess that's what it was when I tried to cruise past the palaces last time. So, let's try it. Ah, succeeded. Awesome. Rivalry between the Leopard and Eagle clans. The concerns about Shelanite raids. Some appalling gossip about the traitor empress back in London. Terrible. Terrible thing to say. Perhaps you shouldn't write that last one down. Yes, I would say so. And move on quickly. That fellow in the corner has an informer's look. Mm, always watching. Always watching. And that's all I can do here as well. Lots of options, just not open to me at the moment. I'm guessing that's something which builds up over time. Okay, so what's this? Mm, this has kind of thrown me off from what I was planning on doing. I'm I want to open all this up now. I want to get it all into the light. There's probably fragments of plenty around here if I can find names for stuff. Can't heart. There we go. Iron quarter. More fragments. That's what we've been needing. Khan's gate. Is that it? It's quite intricate, isn't it? There's quite a bit around it. Surrounded by black stuff. I want to know who took a shot at me so close. What have I done to annoy them? Khan's shadow? Boats! More boats. Are these going to shoot at me? Please don't shoot at me. No, oh, Khan's shadow. Okay, right. Made up of boats. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Almost oriental pagodas in the, in the centre of them here. Wanderer's Haven. Well, I'm really far east. Khan Shadow. Long ago, the Khan turns its back on the warrior traditions. It has no place for pirates and would-be nomads, so here in the shadow, the exiles mark, make their home amid a hundred wrecked, grounded, decommissioned ships. Yeah, they certainly do. Certainly do. What do we have? Compile a port report. That be it. Okay. Anything I can sell? Ooh. A hundred for my outlandish artifact. I'm getting a little bit antsy with my supplies. That's the thing. I'm, I'm a little bit worried. A little bit worried. Well, we'll, we'll go crack on, I guess. Um, that's pulled me way off track. Uh, I think... I think we'll come back eastwards. I'll try and open up this bit as we come on back. Hit the Sea of Lilies. Demote Island, if I remember rightly, I can get some supplies out. So that's pretty cool. And then to pick most and salt lines. So, well, we'll crack on. We found Khan Shadow. It's really far west. I'm hoping there's no more ships that want to take a punt at me. That was very, very unsportsmanlike. I was not impressed at all. Thankfully, they were terrible shots. Or they just, they're very weak to hit. How's my terror doing? 82. I'm okay for the time being. I will have to start putting on my lights a bit more soon. As it turns out, we're going to have a lot of open sea travelling to do on the way back, so that's probably not a good thing either. Opened it up yet? There's another one opened. Oh, I have a stickler for opening up this map. It, it, just, it annoys me. The squares annoy me. I suppose it'd be worse if you just edged like a, a trail through just where you're travelling, and if you had those extra... Um, lights to put on would make your glow a little bit bigger and therefore open up more of the map. So I suppose opening up squares at a time isn't the worst thing to do. But even so, it's just so uneven. So uneven. Don't like it. Oh, almost there. Hello, Spotty Froggy. So 
So this is the last one here. Was this around where the ship was? Almost there, and then we'll take a hard left. No, oh, he's not here anymore, so that's fine. Oh! What was that? Top of the screen. Something popped in for a second there. Uh, it's gone now. Nump Mit Harbour. Time to see what's going on at the prison. Oh, it's a shark. Probably a good thing we missed that after all. Oh, we've got Restless Knights as well. We'll use that in a second. So, Wisdom. Uh, we can get a port report going. We can rescue a prisoner if we really want to die right now. Yeah. Uh, no. And that's about it. That's about it. Shops? No, no shops. So now we are heading... We're going to uncover some black stuff. I'm sure do we have eight. Let's head north and just take off these two little black bits of map. And then we can head uh, over to Demo and pick up a little bit of supplies, which will help. As long as fuel's okay. How's our terror doing? 89. Now it's the time to put the light on. Now we've got an eel. Uh, 12 west, which isn't good. I fear the uh, music's about to change to the nasty music. There we go. I have to turn my light off now. Uh, I think we'll stay to the north this time around. We're not going to uncover a lot of the black stuff. We would uh, just want to get to Demo Island. I think I might lose a little bit of terror when I land. If I have... Uh... No, it didn't like that. Didn't like that. Albino Murray. Oh, Christ. Burn it. Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. You didn't see me. We'll lose them in the mist. We'll lose them in the mist. I'm just not very confident we've taken on any of the animals. The thing with the boats is you can stay on their tail, and therefore it's a little bit easier. Let's throw out the Z back. We haven't done that this episode. Uh, it's a little bit easier to sort of avoid being shot, but with those, they tend to just aim at you and give it to you in your face, and that's it. You're done. So not so bad with the moray, I suppose. It's it's only a little thing. Again, I, I, my my problem is I don't know how hard they hit. I am willing to take a hit, you know, if I had a little bit more hull capacity, which I believe on the next ship up you do. But uh, this one is not good at all. And my wow, my terror is mega high. It could be the mist actually that's doing that. I'll say it's class Corvette. I'm gonna just have to take the. Uh, the misty hit here. Oh lordy. So what are we at now? 97. Nice. Nice. Well at least we've got full crew so we can afford to lose a few. As long as they don't mutiny on me we should be alright. How are we doing for secrets? Three. Uh, just because I find it being annoying being on 39. Hello Demo. Alright so this... We'll knock off one terror, which is good. And then... Stand in the right place at the right time for the Gnomic Gallivant. Okay, we're going to get the port report. We're going to... Have tea with the factor, because... That reduces terror and I get a supply, which is fine. And is that still open? It is, okay, so... Stand in the right place at the right time for the Gnomic Gallivant. I don't like comedians. I'm a very serious man. But we agree on one thing. Timing. That's why I'm breaking into the Factor's home. And why I need you to distract him until I've found a special itinerary. Okay. <laughs> a pleasant distraction. It just so happens that you bump into the Factor on his walk home. What a happy coincidence. You couldn't possibly manage this entire picnic basket by yourself. Overjoyed to have company he joins you on a bench for the next hour merrily eating sandwiches 
You take your leave once you have seen the gallivant pass by. Back on your deck, the gallivant laughs jovially. His rubies wink in the light. Iron and Misery or Misery will be sending a representative to the contest in Port Cecil. There's a full itinerary of all the events tailored for every attendee. I have the dictator's move mapped. So we need to go to Port Cecil at some point. Okay. I completely forgot about that. That scarily st stern gnome guy. Do we know where Port Cecil is? We do. And that will be on our next trip down once we go back to London. So that's good. That is good. All right. So um, we don't need to go to pig mode. Just get a, you know, a, a quick look in there. Say hello to my rat friends. You know, hopefully survive. Ooh, what are you? What are you? What are you? Pinnis. We can take on a pinnis. We can turn that off. Wow. Stop it. Stop it, you. Yeah, smoking. Boom. Please have something good. I could do with... Well, supplies would be good because if we run out of fuel, we can always go for our supplies to look for fuel. So, with that in mind... Oh, you bastard. Okay, never mind. Well, we're not that far away from Pigmo. And uh, the one thing I've noticed is when you kill stuff, your terror does go down. So, that does help. It's, uh, it pays to kill stuff, supposedly. As much as it may kill you, it pays to kill stuff. I suppose you're keeping the, the Zs safe. So that's why it's a. Uh, it doesn't mind you killing stuff, really. It's a. Uh, it's good. It's good. You're you're clearing up the, the, the place. You're clearing everything up. Creeping tendrils of fungus, seaweed, unnameable flora. We enter the snares. Hello, snares. All right. Let's see what my ratty friends are up. What are you doing? I'm still scarred by the guinea pigs eating liver straight out of a rat. So. Uh, uh, I'm not feeling it for them. Visit the cavey ghetto. No, screw them. What? We'll do the port report. What's on the bottom there? Steal the rat star. I'm not fussed by that. So, hail Marinia, the niece most adorable nation scurries around your legs. Sintelac harvesters drag heavy bags of the island's bounty to their silos. Industrious rodents work hard on towering edifices, some of them almost neck high. London will never believe a bloody word of this. Okay, well, we'll help him. An aide runs over. Hairless advisor, you return to us. Praise the tide. We need your wisdom once more. Have I not done enough for you guys? Can you not just get on without me? A cliff hangs over the chicken woods. The trees creak in the still air. The aide shivers. Do you feel it, hairless advisor? They say a monster lives out here, where even our light cannot reach. Our farmers refuse to tend their mushrooms until they can be sure of reaching them in safety. But we find no trace of the beast. What can we do? Well, we can uh, suggest raising the chicken woods. <laughs> Burn it to the ground! Burn the trees, leave it nowhere to hide. Or we can declare their fear superstition. The best weapon against irrational fear is a good distraction. A party, perhaps? Oh! 36% uh, chance of that. So... presume we've got civilization of four here might of four here so we can either do that and maybe lose them or we can make the spirit come up a bit by holding the party i'm one for a party it's a one in three chance or i presume that'd be all the hell out no let's burn to the ground let's show them there's nothing to hide Burn the trees. Fire, smoke. No sign of a monster, alive or dead. Still, the adventure has given Marinia's soldiers fresh training, uh, of a sort, and the farmers will have little to fear walking this new charcoal path to the mushroom fields. So, we've put the might up, which is adequate. Uh, we've lost civilization, which is danger, danger. That's all for now. Okay, so we're making them savage warriors at the moment, it would appear. No civilization just to speak of whatsoever. Yeah. Okay, okay, well, could have been worse, I suppose. Where are we off to now? Uh, salt line, straight down, straight downwards. We could probably pop in on Mutton Island on the way through as well. Makes sense. As long as our fuel holds out. We don't have any supplies to be able to replenish the, the uh, fuel if we do run out. and uh, That does worry me. 
That does worry me because it does tend to burn away pretty quick. But killing that boat has helped with the terror. So it's not a major issue at the moment. Oh, here we be. Oh, just keep close. That's fine. Makes you wonder why they're dismantling it. It's such a lovely thing. It makes you wonder what put it there in the first place, I suppose. If we're going to be asking any question, it's how the hell did that get here? But they seem quite happy to at least take one apart. Maybe they'll work on the other one once this one's done. Anyways. Zeal port. Anything here? No. Just uh, the port port. That will do me just fine. Onwards. That actually didn't take up a lot of fuel at all, so I'm quite happy to Carry on to Mutton Island. Yeah, we'll do Mutton Island next. Not sure what to do once we get back to London and head back out. We are definitely heading south, that's for sure. Regardless of where the Admiralty wants us to go, we're heading south. There's more to the south which we haven't uncovered compared to what we have to the north. And then we've got to go far east. To which point we... Oh, hit the space bar with my hand as I gesture. To which point... We do need a lot of fuel and a lot of supplies. Uh, not comfortable in this ship doing that. Maybe if I bought a, a more powerful engine. But I would probably want more crew as well. So it's a hard one. It's a hard one to judge. But down south, we definitely haven't gone too far down south. So it's worth having a peaky, I feel. Still, Mutton Island Ho, as they say. I haven't seen any crabs or uh, Ginny Fleur recently. That's, uh, again, unusual for around here. Oh, just in time. So, oh. Uh, Quarry of Marine. We've done this bit, haven't we? Yeah, we've done that bit. All right, so. Quaker's Haven. What to do? What to do? We can explore the shore. Pick up a wretched mog. Don't think the, the cat will be too happy with my rat. So, I'm not too fussed by that. Visit the hilltop above town. Yeah. I think I'd rather explore the shore. Where's my port report? I need money? Can I sell anything? That's probably a bad thing to do, selling my supplies. But we are heading back now. We should be okay. So chat to the fisherman. Get my port report. And then we're going to have a look around the shore. Wander a little way along the shore from the dock. Fisher folk, sailors, a shady couple of likely pirates. And instead of drowning down by the water's edge, they sit round a fire at the Z's edge, passing around a bottle of something viciously black. They're wagering on riddles. Will you join them? Uh, well, our veils... Oh, it's our pages. Our pages aren't too high. As it stands, we can only afford the one echo anyway. Let's do it. Let's, why not? A whale's eye. The fisherman chuckles and pounds the ground with a fist. City folk, he crows. City folk, pay up. Okay, well, we've got some fragments. It cost me an echo, but I've got some fragments. Uh, that's all I can do other than having the Mog. And again, I don't want to be wasting all those supplies on it. That'll do. That'll do. Let's get back home. I'm done on the Z for one, one little trip. I think we've pushed it as far as we can. Ah, speak of the devil and he shall appear. Hello. So we should be able to kill this outright in one hit. Shouldn't we? As long as we can stay behind it in the mist, all is well. Boom! And that'll be an extra set of supplies. Or do we go for fragments? Yeah. We're going to get supplies anyway, and we're going to get a little bit of money. Let's no, let's do dissect. Twenty-five fragments. It's not the most. It's not the most, but. Oh, I was ready for a bit of a jousting session then, but thankfully it was a friendly ship. What are you? Melancholia. Hello, Melancholia. Crew of 30. That's quite a lot. Quite a lot of crew for such a small ship. Must be well decked out. Must have triple ha hammocks in it. There we go. There's a Sid Meier's Pirates reference for you before the end of the episode. And homeward bound. Lovely, lovely. That was nice. We got we got shit done. That's what I like to do in an episode. Getting shit done. Uh, before we go into port, we'll just have a quick look. So we've opened up the map a lot more. 
we've opened up Mount Palmerston completely. We've found Khan's glory and Khan's heart and Khan's shadow. That was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, but this is this is what troubles me down here. We've got all this to uncover. So I think we should probably have a an episode of, uh, or at least a, a couple of episodes, just exploring this. So it'll probably be sort of down here next time. Long to Port Cecil because we want to get rid of this mo uh, gnome because he's a pain in the ass. And then down to Visage and down here. We might go a little bit further south. I don't know. We'll see how much fuel we can get. But alas, we pull into port. Everyone's happy. Everyone can go and spend their hard-earned echoes of, well, three. And uh, yes, all is well. All is well. Oh, we can get a tattoo next time around. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy.